What's up guys, it's Tracy Wong here. I'm a video producer and photographer here in Dallas, Texas, and I do a lot of captioning for videos, a lot. Our agency produces between 50 to 200 videos per month, and my team of editors and I add captions to so many videos, it's not even funny. So I have learned a few things about how to fix captions in Premiere Pro. And even though I really like Premiere Pro and there's some awesome things and we primarily use Premiere Pro in our team, captions are also super frustrating. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some tips and tricks of how I have fixed problems with captions in Premiere Pro. So here we go. So I just went ahead and opened up Premiere Pro and I'm going to go ahead and start a new project. Okay. And I'm going to call this captioning problems. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this on um, this folder, which I have a lot of other files that I used for a IGTV video earlier that I filmed. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And it's automatically going to open up this window. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and import. So I'm going to right click and import and bring in two different files this example video, and then also this example SRT file. So one of my favorite services to use is a service called Rev.com, which is a transcription service where people will physically type out and transcribe your video. And it's a dollar and 25 cents per minute. And so once you sign in, and get the video transcribed, um, you can actually download it directly from here. So just press here, go download, and then you can save it as a SRT file. And that's exactly what I have done. So in Premiere, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the video and drag it and drop it into my sequence. And it's automatically going to add in that video in the same dimensions um, as the original video. Next thing is I'm going to take the SRT file and basically just drag and drop it in and it should show up. Okay, so this is the first problem with captions. A lot of times when you add in captions, it just doesn't show up, okay? Like, why does it not show up? So number one, make sure that your file is exactly the same. It may sound really, really simple, but if let's say your file name for the SRT file was downloaded one name and then you decide to change it because a lot of times as editors, we like to organize our media so that it actually makes sense. Um, if you change the name here and then you import it to Premiere and add it on, it's not going to show up. And that's exactly what's happened here. So number two, make sure that the dimensions of your captions align with the dimensions of your video. So what does that mean? Well, let me go ahead and show you. If let's say your video is 16 by 9, and it is a 1920 by 1080 video, but your captions are a different size, it may not show up properly. So what you want to do is right click on your SRT file and then go to modify and then modify and then captions. And once you are here, you want to make sure that the captions are at the right size. So my video right now is 1920 by 1080, but the actual captions are 1080 by 864. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 1920 by 1080. And once I press OK, it should go ahead and change it. If it's still not showing up, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and manually edit the captions. And to show the captions window, you want to go to Window and then go to Captions and turn that on. Okay. And you will need to select Captions to have it show up here. See, the caption's still up showing up, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix it by changing the position. Number three, change the position of where the captions are placed on your video. The captions are not showing up, so one thing I can do is I can go ahead and right click and select all, and kind of move things around to see where they are, okay? So it looks like the captions are just way too big. For some reason, the Captions were imported into Premiere at size 71. I have no idea why it was like that, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to 45. And that is still way too big. 
<laughs> so I'm going to go to effects controls and see why. Okay, so it's at 100%. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just change this until it is the right size. So let me do 20. And a lot of times, like, it may not show up properly. Like, if I select this, which is going to give you nine different spots that you can place the captions, um, I typically will always put it in the middle just so that I can see where it is. I'll go to effects controls and manually change the position. So you can go left or right here, or you can go up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to right there. Next thing is I'm going to go ahead and change the color of the captions. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to white so you can actually see it. And then I'm also going to change the font. So a font that I like to use a lot is Montserrat. And I'm going to change it to size 15. Okay. So now it's going to show up properly there. You can also change the spacing if you need to there, if you want it bigger or smaller. But I usually like it at 50. Okay. And here it does allow you to change the timing of the caption. So let's say if they're not correct, you can actually manually change them. One thing that I do like is that I will manually move these around depending on what is being said in the video. And a lot of times, like you may notice if you try to drag a video or, or one of these captions across, it disappears. So one way that I've been able to move this around without it disappearing is basically just moving these around and changing the tails um, or the heads or the tails of these captions so it, it actually fits because I've had that happen quite a lot. Number four is if the captions do not update and you've made a bunch of changes, just go ahead and shut down Premiere, shut down your computer, restart everything, and it should update. Number five, if you are exporting a video and the captions don't show up, here is how you fix it. You want to go to Command M, which is going to pull up the export window, and you need to make sure that under captions right here that the option for burn captions into video is selected. If it's not, let's say if it says none, it's not going to select anything <laughs> and your captions won't show up. Number six is if you have made a bunch of changes to your captions in Premiere and you want to export those captions as its individual SRT file with all the changes. Let's say you are sharing your files with another editor or you want to take that SRT file to maybe Final Cut Pro or another program. This is how you do it. So in Premiere Pro, you want to make sure that your sequence is selected. So I have example selected and I'm going to go ahead and go to File and then go to Export and then under here, it says Captions. Super easy to do. It took me ages to figure this out. So hopefully this will help you guys. Um, and it's going to ask you what format. Um, I always do subrip subtitle format or SRT. Include SRT styling. I usually don't select that. I just press OK. And it's going to ask me where I want to save it. So you just want to save it wherever you have it designated on your computer, whether it's desktop or some different folder. And uh, that's it. And then you can always take that SRT file and put it into another editor and it will show up perfectly. So that is six ways to fix captions in Premiere. I have a love-hate relationship with captions because they're totally necessary, but they are also super frustrating when they do not show up properly in Premiere or they don't show up properly in my exported video. So there you go, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and push the notification bell if you want more videos related to editing or how to create content for influencers, uh, mostly in online marketing. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.